Hello everyone, how are you? My name is Savannah. If you're new to my channel, hello, welcome. I am a full-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark, and if you're not new, welcome back. Um, today I have a Goodwill outlet haul, and it's a big one. <laughs> um, so I went to the Goodwill outlet, was it two days ago? Um, my Goodwill outlet is $1.39 a pound, and I got about 85 pounds of stuff, so paid right around like $120 to $130, but got some good stuff. <laughs> so I'm just going to get right into it because I'm surrounded by piles of clothes right now. There's a lot to share with you. Clothes and shoes. I got some good shoes. So let's just get into it, <laughs> shall we? Um, first, I have this pair of Joe's jeans, little Bermuda shorts. I thought these would be good going into spring. Um, they're a size 28. And I'll probably get like 15 to 20 dollars for those. Oh, look who wants to be part of the video! Um, this is a Madewell striped little top. What is that? Oh, it's a piece of fuzz. Okay, we're good. <laughs> um, but this is just a little like ringer tee. Pretty basic, but it's kind of like a heavier weight top. It's a size, I have no idea because I cut it out, but I'll probably get like $15 for it. Next is this really adorable free people sweater. It's a size extra small, but definitely oversized like most free people items are. It's like this olive green color with a little cuffed sleeve. Super cute. I love the color. This is a brand I like to pick up. It sells pretty well for me. It is Mata Traders. And this is a really pretty printed dress. And I usually get about $25 to $30, just depending on the piece. What are you? This is a J. Crew Irish linen. I think this is a men's button down shirt, but any of the J. Crew Irish linen stuff I like to pick up. This really needs to be steamed, but I'll probably get like $20 for it. It's a size large. Oh, and it is the Baird McNutt linen, which actually sells for more. So if you ever see that, especially if you're at the bins, grab it. Oh, my favorite brand. You guys know what it is. It is cool. And this is a men's zip up jacket. I've sold this jacket before. I forget what it's called, but it has like this faux leather and Sherpa detail. And it's just a full zip fleece. I want to say this is the flight jacket, but I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, still very exciting to find. All right, this is another pair of Joe's little distressed Bermuda shorts. I'm assuming they're the same size. Yep, 28. All right, I got a pair of Joie jeans, which honestly their pants don't really do super well for me, but these were in great shape and they're skinny jeans, so I grabbed them. That's a piece of lint, <laughs> um, but yeah. I don't know. Hopefully they sell. Maybe like 20 bucks. Okay, right before, actually, I had already checked out with my cart full of clothes, and then I saw they were about to rotate shoes, so I ran to the parking lot, emptied my cart, and ran back in just in time for them to bring out shoes. And boy, am I glad I made that shoe rotation. Okay, first of all, this is probably the most exciting pair that I got because they're brand new in the box. And I'll show you right here. They retailed for $210. That's what that says, right? <laughs> yep, $210. 
and they're beautiful. So this is them. They're gorgeous little booties. Yeah, I could not believe I got these. Oh, this is my Goodwill outlet receipt. I thought that was the receipt for the shoes. Um, but yeah, so the style is the Addington Chelsea boot in a size seven. And these looked like they were selling brand new for around $100 on eBay. So very excited about those and actually kind of in disbelief that they rolled out in front of me because if you guys have been to the bins, you kind of know how it is. Like if stuff gets rolled in front of you, it's just like the luck of the draw. So if those would have rolled in front of someone else, obviously they would not have been with me right now. Um, but thankfully they rolled out right in front of where I was standing and I got them. So that was exciting. And then right next to those boots, like the bin right over, these were all pretty much in the same area. So I grabbed these just based on the feel of them. Um, I get asked this a lot, but I never wear gloves to the bins just because I like to be able to feel quality materials, like buttery soft leather like this. And I bring hand sanitizer, okay? So it's not that gross, but I never wear gloves because I like to feel the expensive stuff. So these are a brand I've never heard of, but they're good. It is P. Manjo, and they're made in Spain. And they have like this little Velcro wrap detail and they're expensive. <laughs> these were like $400 retail. Um, they look like this exact boot was listed for 150. I don't know if it's selling for that much, but definitely around $100 I'm expecting to get out of these, which is awesome. And they are a size 36. All right, I knew exactly what these were. Actually, I actually have two pairs of them, so I'll just show them at once. I knew exactly what these were just by the backs of them because I've sold this style of boot so many times. Um, I forget what the name of it is, but <laughs> these are Madewell knee-high boots. Um, same exact style. I think they're different sizes. One's a six and one's a seven and a half. So yeah, really nice Madewell riding boots. They're in pretty great condition. Um, these have a little bit of like heel drag on the back. If you can see that, it kind of looks worse than it is on camera, but just a little bit, so I'll note it. Um, but these sell really well for like 50 to $60. So really excited to find two pairs right next to each other. And also next to those, were these gorgeous fry boots and I don't know what exact style this is off the top of my head but they're a size six they're in really good condition I'll show you the bottoms um, yeah overall really good condition so excited to find those it's been a while since I found really good shoes at the outlet just because they haven't been bringing them out as much but that was really exciting. Okay, now more clothes. There's more shoes mixed in here, but those were the most exciting. So this is just a Target brand. It's Who What Wear, but this dress is adorable. It's like a gingham plaid off the shoulder dress. I thought somebody would want it. Size medium. I'm sorry if it starts to get darker here. It's like 4 p.m. and that's when the sun goes down in the winter time, so <laughs> fighting with daylight here. Um, this is a pair of men's J. Crew like jogger pants. They have little zippered pockets. I don't know, they have an elastic base. Waist, waist. <laughs> um, they're in good condition, so I picked them up. This is a pair of Fabletics, little capris. They kind of look like they have a stain. Hopefully that's not a stain. I'll have to look at them. But they have like this little layered waist. Okay, this brand actually seemed very good. It is oh, right down there. Koala, you koala bag. 
and this exact bag i thought it was like missing something right here because it has velcro but it's actually supposed to look that way and this bag was selling for over a hundred dollars on ebay so it's nice yeah it looks like a little hiking bag or something it has leather detail it looks like it's handmade very nice all right a little change of scenery because uh it was getting a little dark okay um this is adorable it is mini Bowden, and it is this little polka dot fit and flare dress it's a size seven eight so cute probably get like twenty dollars for it but i like selling mini Bowden, especially when it's adorable like that this piece is inside out let's see um it's just an athleta little crew neck pullover it's like a blue navy blue color size extra small pretty basic but athleta sells well for me I don't know why I picked this up it's super stained so I'm I don't even think I'm gonna keep it it was just an athleta girl hoodie that I obviously did not check over for where okay this is so cute it is a Patagonia um, 5t little fleece jacket with bear ears come on it's probably the cutest thing I've ever seen and somebody needs it so cute This is a smart wool sweater that needs to be cleaned. So I'm gonna put it over there. Um, this brand looked like it was all over the place, but I thought this piece was cute. It's Chopin, Chopin, Roma, and it's this little tweed jacket. And it's obviously new with tags. I don't know. I thought it was cute. So I got it. This is a Vineyard Vines extra extra small t-shirt with a whale on the back. Won't get much for it, but it's still worth grabbing. What are you? Oh, okay. This is Guinevere from Anthropology, and it's this ruffly, super ruffly cardigan sweater. It's kind of hard to show. I think the sleeves are pretty much inside out, but um, yeah, it needs to be pill shaved. There's definitely some pilling, but it's cute, and I like the color, so we'll see how it does. This is a really cute Lori Goldstein um, tunic with like a pleated hem and it has pockets. Super adorable. Size extra small, but definitely oversized. Another logo Lori Goldstein, extra small or extra, extra small. And this is like a high low pink tunic. All right, so I have not picked up this brand in a long time, even at the bins, because it always comes through. But it's inside out. It is LuLaRoe, and it is the Danny dress. I don't know if I've actually sold that one, but it is solid black. And I have found that the solid black pieces do decent, so I grabbed it. It just looks like a long sleeveless maxi dress. Very long. This is a North Face women's flannel shirt. North Face 
Doesn't do super well for me anymore, but I thought this was cute. Size medium. This was an exciting find. It is a spider women's jacket. It's super cozy in the inside. And then it's like a plaid black and white. Definitely like a soft shell jacket, but it seems super warm. And I like selling this brand. So it should do good. Hopefully like $30 to $40. All right, next is a super cool bolo tie. I'm probably just going to keep this for myself because I've always wanted one. And I don't think this is like real turquoise or anything. I don't know. It's cute though. So I got it and it weighs nothing. So it was pretty much free. That's how I justify some things at the bins, but that's adorable. So I had to have it. This is a beach lunch lounge, little gingham dress. I figured this would be perfect for the summertime or spring. It's adorable. So that's extra small. This is a really cute Madewell skirt. It's um, gray and white striped. It's, the front is like layered. It's adorable. And it has pockets, so you know we love anything with pockets. Yeah, it should do good. Kind of looks like a newer style. I'm not sure what year it was from. I can't find the interior tag, but it looks newer to me. Okay, when I saw this, I got really excited. I'm like, there's no way that's what I think it is. It's probably just like a Faded Glory one. No, it is a Patagonia Deep Pile Retro X Felice. It is a Patagonia Retro X Deep Pile Fleece Jacket. And these, these do good. They do really good. Um, in like amazing condition, like probably $150 for this color. Unfortunately, this one does have a flaw somewhere. Right here. It's got a hole. Pretty decent sized hole. But I think I'm just going to sell it as is because somebody will still want it. <laughs> so I don't know how much I'll get for it, but definitely a very exciting find. Um, this is a pair of Eileen Fisher gray skinny jeans. They're like a very light gray. Uh, yeah, they're definitely skinny. Size um, two. Okay, this was um, definitely a little bit of a gamble, but this was so pretty I couldn't leave it behind. It is this handmade leather bag and the leather is so soft um, it just has really cool details like even on the strap it has like these little coins and beads it's beaded on the front and it is from the pat smiley collection and these bags were all over the place in terms of price like i saw some for 80 i saw some for 25 um i have no idea but i knew it had to come home with me so hopefully somebody wants it. If not, I do. <laughs> It'll end up in my closet. Okay, what are you? This is a We, or no, Free People. It looked like the We the Free tag. And it is like this draped front. Uh, <laughs> that is not looking pretty on camera, but I'm sure it looks really cute on. Um, it's like a linen draped front top. This was probably one of my more exciting finds. I just really like this piece. It is Angel of the North from Anthropology, and it's this gray cardigan. Let me show you the back. The back has like all this like lattice lace detail. It's super gorgeous. I feel like this might be a better anthropology piece. I have no idea. I need to do some research, but 
I love it. And it is a size medium. This is a Eddie Bauer women's jacket. This brand does pretty well for me on eBay. And it's just an olive green, zip up, hooded, like windbreaker. I really like the color, so I think it will sell well. It kind of cinches in the back. Okay, now we have some more shoes. Um, so this is a brand, I'm not sure if it does super well, but these were so cute that I didn't care. Um, the brand is all black, and I know this is sold at Nordstrom, but I just don't know. I don't know if you can see that. How well they sell. All black, and they're like these lace-up velvet pumps. So cute. These would have been adorable for the holidays. They're in pretty great condition, though. Pretty lightly worn. Uh, you can tell by, like, the heel. They've not been worn much, but adorable don't know how much I'm gonna get for them but they sure are cute right, this is a pair of Paul Green little sling back perforated um, I guess they're heels like a little heel I would call them probably like a sandal but they're in pretty good shape I like selling Paul Green it retails crazy high and it resells pretty well so I got those it's gonna tell you the size but it's in UK sizing and I don't know what that converts to okay then I got two pairs of these boots Can get both in here yes okay so two pairs of these um, urban outfitters lace up little booties um, one pair I think yeah this pair looks to be lightly worn and they're a size 9 and then there was another pair in the same bag as these which was really crazy I don't know why this person had two pairs of these shoes maybe they just really liked them but um, these ones look like they're brand new they still have the uh, foam in there bottoms I don't know it looks like maybe they were tried on so I don't know if I'll list them as new but yeah this is so cute it's just Zara girls but it's new with tags and it's this little embroidered top with fringe on the bottom it retailed for $22 so nothing crazy but so cute had to pick it up These are, set them up, okay. These are Elevensies from Anthropology. This really soft, like, flannel feeling pants. They are wide leg and they have a tie front. So, do whatever you want there. Make it a bow, tie it in a knot. I don't know, they're really cute and they're in excellent condition. So I think these will do pretty well. They're a size two. And super cute. This is another J. Crew men's linen shirt. I think I've actually sold this exact shirt before. Just a short sleeve plaid, basic, but probably like twenty dollars for it. I got this pair of men's Ted Baker shorts. These did have a couple like tiny marks that I thought I could get out on the front. You're probably not gonna be able to see them, but I thought these would do well with spring coming up. And it does have the button here. It's just undone. And they're a size 38, so that is a good size. This is a pair of Not Your Daughter's jeans, which these have been selling pretty well for me lately on eBay and on Poshmark. These are the Amy Skinny Leggings, so I thought that was a good style. They're a size 10 and they're in really good shape. So I grabbed them. <laughs> a really good sh I spoke too soon. In the trash, okay. 
clearly I did not look those over well enough before I bought them. It's okay though. As long as you catch the flaws before you list it, <laughs> that is the key. Okay, this is a Ted Baker um, men's zip up sweatshirt. It's super soft, it's like a navy blue. I think this will do pretty well. Has zippered pockets. It's a size five, which I think is an XL in Ted Baker, but I was excited to find that. It's a really cute pair of boys crew cuts, little swim trunks. Just have a fun pattern. A little J. Crew on the back. Okay, I was really excited to find this. And this is a brand that I'm kind of pickier with picking up. There's Club Monaco. And this is like a olive green coated, like wax coated jacket. Not all the flaps are buttoned down and it's very wrinkly, but hopefully you can see how adorable this jacket is. I just gotta steam it. Um, yeah, it's really cute. This is a size medium. This is a Neve Designs wool sweater with a little zippered pocket. It's a full zip. And these sell pretty well for me. This is a size large. I think this is women's. Actually, I don't know. I don't know if they sell men's. I'll have to do some research because it does look bigger. I was actually really excited to find this jacket because this line from Under Armour sells very quickly for me. Um, it is the Wounded Warrior Project Under Armour jacket. And obviously it supports a great cause, but people also really like to buy these pieces. So if you ever see that, even if it's like a t-shirt or something, I would pick it up if it's reasonably priced just because they sell very well. And it's size extra large, which is even better. So I think I'll probably get like 30 to 40 for this. I've actually never found a jacket, so I was excited. Another pair of Urban Outfitter shoes, size nine. This must have all been from the same person. But they are these like chunky, really fun, I don't know what you'd call these, platforms, I guess. Like little Mary Jane platforms. Super cute. And they're obviously brand new, so. Those will do good, I think. Okay, this bag I think is gonna be mine. <laughs> but it is um, by Elk, which is a Boulder brand. If you've ever been to Colorado and you've been to Boulder, it's a bougie place. And this was handmade there. It actually retailed for about $400. It has this uh, cute little ring detail. It's just a really nice bag. It does have a little bit of wear. I remember seeing when I was at the bins. Yeah, right down here, like a little bit of water wear. I think I might be able to get that out with like some of my leather CPR stuff, but it's a gorgeous bag. I might sell it, I might not. It doesn't have a giant following online, so I don't know. It's a really nice piece though, I had to get it. This is a brand I'm pretty picky with picking up, but these looked like a newer style. It's BDG from Urban Outfitters. These are the Twig High Rise. And they're just skinny jeans with like this piping down the middle. And they're in really good shape. This is a J. Crew. I don't know. Oh, okay. I've never seen it's with SC block prints. I've never seen that collaboration before, but it has a cute little elephant on it. And sometimes their collaboration pieces do better. So I don't know. I'll have to look into that. I was really excited to find this because even though I live in Colorado, I barely ever find this brand at the bins. It just, I'm not gravitated towards it. 
which is fine. A lot of other people I know find it all the time, but um, I was excited to find it, finally. <laughs> it is Arcteryx. I don't know if you can see the little logo. There it is. And this one does have an embroidery on it, but I think it'll still sell as is. It's a nice little minty color. It's like a lightweight fleece. This is a Victoria's Secret Pink. This is definitely more of an eBay brand for me. It's a size large and just has this like cool kind of Fair Isle print on it. It's a half zip, pullover, and those usually do pretty well for me. Probably get like $20 for it. This is another Mata Traders piece. And this is a skirt yeah like a skirt with a little peplum ruffle super fun i've never sold a skirt from that brand so we'll see how it does um this is another pair of paul green shoes just like the ones from earlier but a different color there you go <laughs> they're in pretty good shape couple more things until the sun completely goes down so thank you for bearing with my lighting situation <laughs> throughout this video this is a vineyard vines I think this is a women's size medium little sweatshirt pullover it does need to be pill shaved but that's okay I can do that and it's super soft and should sell well probably like $25 This is one of my favorite men's brands to sell. It is Carbon to Cobalt. And this is just a flannel, like a lined flannel shirt. That brand does really well. It sells really quick for me. Okay, these I just felt and pulled them out of the bin. I'm like, please be Lululemon. <laughs> I really don't find a bunch of Lululemon at my outlet just because people are, some people are there just to find it and they, they find it <laughs> and I don't. Um, but I was very thankful to find this pair of pants. I think these are the Kung Fu pants. I'm not exactly sure, but I have the logo. It's a black one, so it's kind of hard to see on these blue pants, but it's there. And I can try and find the size, but I would have to check every pocket so I don't know there's a nice pair of men's pants and I actually prefer finding men's Lululemon over women's because it sells quicker and for more money typically at least for me I don't know if you guys can have seen that trend but I definitely have noticed that this is a pair of White House Black Market and this is the newer label there are these navy blue like ankle skinny pants super nice this is a pair of free people for size extra small and these are like little culotte like elastic waist wide leg pants Super fun and flowy. These are really cute. Another fun pair of pants. Um, this is from Lucky Brands. And I would say these are definitely like a bolo. If you ever see pants that are really patterned from Lucky Brand, especially if they're embroidered, that's even better. But they sell very well and very quickly. I'll probably price these around $30. But if you get the embroidered ones, you can get upwards of like $60, which is crazy for a pair of Lucky Brand pants. So they are definitely sought after. These are a size small. They definitely look like they have a bigger waist, but they have a drawstring, so that's probably why. This is a pair of Vince Camuto. Don't always grab these, but this looked like the newer label from them and they're just like a nice pull-on jegging pant with a raw hem so I grabbed them 
they're a size extra small. All right, I think that is all I have to share with you guys today. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this Goodwill Outlet haul and hopefully you learned some new brands or just had some background noise while you're listing. I know that's when I love to watch haul videos. Um, yeah, I got some good stuff. I'm excited to get it listed and clean it all out of my living room because it's everywhere. <laughs> um, but I hope you guys are having an amazing week and an amazing week of sales as always. Until next time, bye guys. Thank you.